There must be something wonderful in this here world. But sometimes nothing is shiny. So on a bad day, I looked up the seven wonders of the world in the encyclopedia. What I found were lists which disputed lists. There are wonders of the ancient world, there are wonders of the modern world, there are seven wonders of the underwater world. <laughs> Apparently, the wonders of this here world are without end. And so, taking a pencil from behind my ear and licking the tip, I added my own 20 years of research to the list. In the margins of the V through W volume, I wrote, the seven wonders of this here world, mm. compiled by Lucia Misch. <laughs> the first wonder, is what our anvil and our stirrup, the tiniest bones of our body nestled inside our inner ear, can hear for us. The second wonder is the way M.C. Escher is the only person to have ever perfectly captured all that it is to stumble the stairwell of a New York tenement, drunk off your ass, at midnight. The third wonder <laughs> is an old child's book rediscovered in your late twenties to watch yourself grin back into a kid, to be a businessman sitting on the floor of the bookstore, briefcase abandoned for where the wild things used to be. The fourth wonder is our spirals, those perfect unions of circle and line that swirl their way into our sunflowers and our snails and into our fingertips. The fifth wonder is the way driving away from an AM radio station, it's like driving back in time, listening to the static grow thicker like the rings on a redwood trunk, listening to the radio inch closer to the 1950s seafoam formica countertop, closer to the telegraph, closer to the fireside, closer to the sixth wonder is the slums of Calcutta. It is the red light districts of Bangkok, the cardboard of Mexico City, the shopping carts of San Francisco, and the people who push them, singing John Lennon hymns to themselves as the days go down. It is a hand outstretched for change, the human gargoyles hunched on the corner of Maine and Hastings, needles hanging from them like they are abandoned sewing projects. It is a boy, hand in hand with a girl who fears him too much to tell him about the abortion as he laughs at a dead baby joke, the seventh one. And then my pencil broke. Ah. Oh. So revising my title with my fingernail, I snapped the encyclopedia shut on the six and a bit wonders of this here world, compiled by Lucia Misch. <laughs> and as I did, a puff of dust rose from its pages, hit the last beam of evening light propped against the window, and ignited. And there, in that floating explosion, was my seventh wonder that we are prisms that split spectrums and paint rainbows on our fingernails, that we are dumpsters full of diamonds, lawnmowers mowing our hanging garden of Babylons, there are pyramids balanced on the Saharas of each other's chests. My seventh wonder is that someone, somewhere, is still printing encyclopedias on paper, and someone, somewhere, is still selling them door to door to door to door, and someone, somewhere, just let them sit on the shelf long enough to collect these gray layers of days which most of the 6.6 .6 billion wonders of this here world would just call dust.